We're in Fenning Equipment in Coldwater, Ohio, and joining me, Gary Fenning. And Gary, behind us is a planter. We're going to talk about some of the details. Let's start at the front of this thing. The fertilizer placement for a lot of guys is real critical. Tell us, how are we accomplishing that today? Well, yes. Uh, when they get the corn planter out in the field, fertilizer placement is, has been a huge topic as far as a two-by-two two placement. As, as we spoon-feed this corn crop, it's very important to get that first fertilizer to where that kernel and that root can reach that fertilizer to get a good start out in the field. Yeah, we want to make sure that plant actually grows right through the fertilizer zone. In order to get that row cleaned out with today's cover crops and today's residue, what's next? Well, the, the row cleaners that, that Yetter offers, uh, there's nothing out there like it. It's, it's the brand new shark tooth row cleaner where we cut up the residue and move the residue out of the way at the same time. So we're clearing that pass so that row unit does not have to worry about any debris or, or residue that, that they can just plant a seed right where it needs to be. How wide of a path are we clearing? Oh, we're going to be clearing about uh, four to six inches uh, wide of a path. And even for 15-inch row planters, we do have a uh, row cleaner available for 15-inch rows also. Also, we want to make sure, to, based on the soil type, what we're doing, we're getting that at the right depth, and this will help you do that as well. That, that's correct. The, these row cleaners will float. Uh, you just want the row cleaner skimming across the top of the ground. So uh, we're just moving that residue where that band will warm up so much quicker, and your germination of that corn will happen so much more quickly. And on the back, it looks like uh, you've added a capability of some additional fertilizer. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so it's something new that Yetter came out with here a couple years ago where we can apply a two by two band on the back of the row unit versus on front of the planter and uh, it just gives us another option and it's a nice option if guys want to do a, a dual placement uh, one on each side of the row so that's something that Yetter has came out with and, and we've sold a lot of these units here in the last several months and uh, it's a nice additive to, to the corn planter. And we've got to get that seed well covered and good soil contact. How do we accomplish that? Well, we've always been promoting the Yetter Spike Closing Wheel. It's a, it's a spike uh, on the market today that has a 16-inch rim ar around the wheel and with a spike that uh, we can take care of that sidewall compaction that we have with the seed disc openers. So we're talking a good seed soil contact so we have good germination throughout the field. And if we want more information on any of these steps or how they can work on our particular unit, how's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, visit us on our website, FennigEquipment.com. We have a lot of good information, phone numbers, email addresses on there, and uh, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you out. I've been visiting with Gary Fenning of Fenning Equipment in Coldwater, Ohio.